what we got was this or this quantity. We can also write it as this. If we note that this quantity is basically independent of some other terms we took into consideration. This quantity is independent of the atmospheric pressure. This quantity is also independent of the height or the depth in at which this body is lying or submerged in the fluid we are considering. Now let us say we consider the net force on the block. We have considered the pressure difference and the force due to the pressure difference on the body. Now we are going to consider the net force on the body. So the net force on the body will be its weight plus the net force due to the pressure difference or the pressure applied on the body due to the liquid. The weight of this body will be rho s because we assume that the density of that solid is s into the volume occupied by the body which is going to give us the mass into the acceleration due to gravity. The F net due to liquid is basically this quantity. Hence, and because this is up thrust, we said that this is up thrust applied in the upward direction and the weight acts in the downward direction. We write this as this. This quantity is basically the quantity without the minus sign is basically acting in the up upward direction, hence the minus sign has come. This is going to be equal to this is the net force acting on the body due to its weight and the pressure forces. Now, because the body is under a net force, the body is going to have some acceleration. Let us say we write it as acceleration of the body. This is equal to the net force on the body. Now we will have different cases based on what is the sign of this quantity. Let us consider each case separately. We found the net force was equal to where V is the volume occupied by the body. This is basically a h. This quantity is going to be equal to the mass times the acceleration. So let us say case 1. If the density of the solid object is greater than the density of the liquid. We have seen that when a body is denser than water, it sinks in a water body. Similarly, if we consider a different liquid, it also sinks in that liquid if 
we say that the density of the body is greater than the density of the liquid. Let us prove this mathematically. This will give me the mass of the body into G, sorry, into A will give me the mass times the acceleration of the body. This gets equal to the net force which is applicable on the body, which is going to be this. We see that this term and this term cancels off and we get A as rho s minus rho l divided by rho s into g. This quantity holding that this condition is true is positive. This quantity is also positive and the direction of g is downwards. Therefore, we can say that the direction of A is also downwards. Thus, the body accelerates downwards, which implies the body sinks if the density of the body is greater than the density of the liquid. Let us consider a different case. Let us just alter this sign and say this is our case 2. Let us say the density of the body is less than the density of the liquid in which our mass or rho s into v into a is going to be again rho s minus rho l into v into g. This was found earlier. But because this quantity is now negative, because of this condition we have implied, we get A as rho s minus rho l by rho s into g. This is now negative. This is as always positive. The direction of G is always downwards. This entire thing is now turning out to be negative. Thus, the direction of A is now upwards. So, the body now does not sink. The body rises if rho s is less than rho l.